Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, whatever time of the day it is in your neighborhood. Welcome to A Sense of Peace of Life. My name is Lasagna. For all of you, my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. For all of you who are coming back again, I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. Listen, I am getting ready to pack up. You guys, I am finished. I want to say I'm finished. But you guys know that it's always something. You go out, you sell, and then you come back and it's like, they ought to make some more baskets. You go out there and you find out, you know, people start talking about things that they want. You know, you ain't got no candles in your bags. You got to come back and put some candles in there. Or, you know, they want candy, they want teddy bears, they want jewelry, they want all kinds of stuff that you ain't got. It's like in your bags made already. So you got to come back and you got to get some other stuff together right quick. So, you know, it might be that type of thing. But I'll tell you what, you guys, I am so excited today. So I wanted to come on right now and talk about something, right? Okay. Yesterday, I was on my Facebook. Well, I got a couple of messages and a phone call and a text message on my phone and somebody was saying hey you know um did you get a new page or some something like that right and i'm like what's going on well i got a message from you while i'm on the phone with this person they getting a message from me from facebook and i'm not even on facebook so i'm like i go and check it out fam listen Trying to find out your girl was hacked yesterday. I'm like, okay, well, I found out I was hacked yesterday. I went to my doggone page, and I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm getting a friend request from my own self. Now, what kind of sense that made, fam? Seriously, right? So I had to, you know, put out a little message yesterday to all my little Facebook friends and, you know, go through all the motion with that yesterday. But then... I came home, right? And um, I was uh, getting ready to go out to U-Haul. Uh, so my husband come home and, you know, we're going to go to U-Haul and, uh, you know, pick up this, you know, U-Haul, um, uh, right? So while I'm waiting on him, I'm looking, I'm like, I'm on my For You page and my YouTube. And I'm like, okay, so... You know, I like to check out little videos or whatever, you know, people, other people videos, you know, you guys do such great work. And so there are a few people that I, I actually watch, you know, and a few people that are doing great things out here, you know, um, in the give basket um, community. Right. So I'm like, OK, you know, so I click on this video. Right. So I'm watching this video and I'm just like, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Them, I'm telling you, I had to go back in my own video library eight months ago. When I tell you the video that I was looking at was the exact same replica of what I did eight months ago. So I'm just like, hold on, wait a minute, you know, because when I did that video and I was trying to show you something, you know, it was something that I had thought about. And I'm just like, hey, you know, maybe I'll share this with my girls out here with my homegirls with my fam you know what i'm saying i'll show this you know what i'm saying on a video to some of my fam right so i'm like okay cool you know it was a great idea but i'm like hold the phone so i'm looking right and i got i'm i'm curious right so i click on another video fam when i tell you a video that i just did four days ago five days ago they had just put it up like four hours and I'm tripping. I'm like, hold the phone, just change the name. And I'm talking about the exact same thing that I did. And I'm tripping. I'm like, uh, how can you be hacked twice in one day, you know, on different platforms in a whole different way. So I'm just like, listen, fam, this. So I get on here to say this right here. I was there. When Burton Boss is with Felicia, she said, on baskets, right? I was on her live. I was on one of her videos, and she said it so many times. So for somebody else to come around and say, 
um, well, this is a way that you do it without using a basket. I just came up with this. I just thought about it. Um, no, N no. So I was there, right? I'm in her in her comments section, right? On the videos when her, she was showing her mother wrapping gift boxes, right? And I'm like, okay, maybe that's not a new thing. I mean, we wrap gift boxes, right? But it's an open box, right? This was a, this was, for me, it was a new thing. So when I go and I show that I'm making a basket and not using a conventional item, a container, and it's an unbasket, then I'm going to say birth and bosses with Felicia. You know what I'm saying? I got this from her. I learned, it. oh, she's a great teacher. I always shout out people when I'm doing things that they have already done or I saw them do it. I don't know where they get it from. I try to make a habit on my channel to shout out people when I do, when they do things, right? When they do things and I, I, you know, I like it. And so, you know, I may use that in a different way. Now what I'm doing may be different, but the, the concept, right? I got from them and I'm going to shout them out. Like on my recent video, I said this idea I got from Nessa, right? So I'm just like, okay, so shout her out. I shout out LBE. I shout out Birthing Bosses with Felicia. I mean, VC Crafts World been doing some things lately too, right? So, you know, what she's doing, she is very unique in the things that she does. And I'm talking about she is, she is the bomb diggity, yo. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I like to shout out people when I'm doing stuff, right? So if you're not exactly like you, if you're new to YouTube, right? And they had this problem on TikTok, almost shut the TikTok down. But check it out, fam. We ain't shutting down on YouTube. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If you're not really, I know like you're new and you're trying to learn how to, you know, do this gift basket business thing, right? And you want to be a gift basket designer, I would, I, it would behoove you to be a little more creative, right? Just be creative, fam. Be yourself. Like I talked about this on my, on my, um, video recently in the past couple of weeks, I talked about this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my advice to beginners, I mean, I did a whole video, right? So if you're not sure, right when you're watching someone else do something right and you like it and you figure you could do it too no problem do that but if you're unsure of how to give credit where credit is due right let me help you with that i'm finna help you right now this how you do that okay so i was at u-haul yesterday right and i was picking up a u-box but let me tell you something this idea to go get this U-Box came from Daddy's Treasure. Now, I'm going to send you over to her page because I ain't scared, right? I'm going to let you know that I got this idea from Daddy's Treasure. That's how you give credit where credit is due. Now, where she got that idea from, I do not know. I did not ask. But this was a great idea for me, right? So I can pack up my stuff today and then my husband can move this trailer for me where I need it to be. And then I can move a whole lot more in this U-Box, right, than I can in my car. Because I talked about that before as well. I can only get about 30 bags in my car. And right now, fam, I got too much inventory and I got too short of a time to be playing around. So here go the U-Box. That's how you give somebody credit where credit is due. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Think about what I said. And you guys have a great day.